Hello again everyone, thank you for joining me, I hope you're all well. Okay, so back in Truck and Logistics Simulator, and um, what I thought I'd do is reset um, my game so that we, yeah, starting from nothing, and um, yeah, jump into a little series. Right, so we're just parked up at the moment, so let's have a quick look at some jobs. Um, okay, so we'll go here then. Um, is there, right, navigate, use that one. Okay, so we can set the navigation. Let's go and have a look up here. So I've chosen a little Nemo or Bipper, whatever it is, because, um, yeah, it's a lot of fun. And um, I have noticed um, I've got false feedback now. So it's not overly strong, but there's some resistance there, which is um, really nice because before it was... Um, it's a bit odd for me driving without false feedback because I'm just so used to it. So um, I'm not going to do too much messing around, but I am going to probably have a bit of fun. So there might be the odd hand brake turn and stuff. And I'm not going to worry too much about red lights either. If it's safe to go, I'm probably going to go because fuel time is important. Um, okay, everyone's time is important. Right, so let's um, pop over here and see what jobs they've got. So, yeah, we own this van and we've got about three grand. There we go. We've got 3,100. I've got rid of YouTube mode. So, um, yeah, we can't, like, just test drive any vehicle. And this is the map, if anyone's curious. Right, okay, so we've got a little van. And what you can do when you go through and select jobs with your own vehicle... Um, so we're here at the moment, and this job going down here will pay three thousand four hundred and thirty-five. Um, so let's let's go this one. It's a bit of a longer journey. Oh look! So it tells you how much per kilometre you get. So what's the most? Oh, it's a caravan. Okay, sod it. Let's take the caravan. It's only just round the corner, and that gives us 1,330. Perfect. Okay. So I'm playing this in manual with um, H-shifter as well, and all that. Right, so, uh, pop it in here, and there's the caravans over there, so let's go and hook up. Go on, mate, you can do it. Yeah, it's so much nicer with the false feedback. But yeah, it, it does need a little bit of a uh, boost. Um, so, the uh, the last video did absolutely fine. Um, but I did have someone comment saying that um, they don't expect this to be very good on um, console. So, yeah, I'm... I'm going to be bitterly disappointed if it's not good on console, but obviously I've got no way of testing that. Um, I've got a really, really old PlayStation 4. I've got no capture card, and I don't have the key for it. So my review is solely based on the um, PC version of it. Um, in the future, if the channel keeps growing like it is in the future, maybe I can get other consoles... But my PlayStation 4 definitely isn't up to streaming. I've cleaned it all out and, uh, yeah, done all the kind of performance stuff that you can do to such an old thing. But, yeah, it's it's just knackered. It sounds like a helicopter um, as soon as any game gets ever so slightly intense. Um, and also, obviously, I'm using face tracking um, as I play this on PC. And... I think that improves games dramatically, so I'd really miss that on a console. The face tracking that I use as well, I don't think I mentioned this in the last video, so just in case you're new to the channel, the face tracking that I use is actually free software, so it just runs off your web camera, and this isn't sponsored or anything like that. Um, oh, we're going up here. But um, if you just search my channel for the word settings and um, it'll come up and you can uh, yeah copy all mine and it'll sort you out 
Right, so we're going through there. Have our hazards on, seeing as we're going to be quite the hazard getting this in. And I don't think it's changed. Oh, this is going to be awkward. Um, especially from this direction. I always press the wrong button to try and get to the camera. So what we're going to have to do is spin it around and come in the other way. It's actually really strange. I'm going to turn the indicators off because um, it's really loud for me. Um, to you lot, it's uh, a little bit quieter. Because of um, an OBS setting I've got. Right, so we'll go up here a little bit and we'll pop it over there. Yeah, so on the PC, I still love this game. And at the moment, it's about 12 quid or something. It's not expensive on PC. There we go. Right, so first job done. And we actually stay here. So what I can do now is um, go back on the um, map. How do I do this again? Has it dropped it off? Little burnout. Um, here we go. Uh, so we need to go to one of these. So these are the closest. So let's see what this one is. Oh, so I have actually got my foot on the clutch. It shouldn't really have grinded then. Um, and I am playing it in manual with clutch. Okay, here we go. I'm not making excuses, by the way. It's, um, yeah, that's something that they need to change. Right, we don't need full beam on. So let's get going again. Yeah, I absolutely love this game. And, yeah, when it did all right, I thought, perfect, new series. But it's just trying to find time to play everything. My goodness, I've got so many games that I need to um, board now. It's a little bit extreme. Because it's just finding like the recording time in the day. It's uh, easier said than done. Like with work. Yeah, so obviously speeding now is... Um, yeah, very bad idea, because we're just going to be rinsing our money. What are you doing, mate? That was give way, surely. Jesus. Okay, um, we'll ignore the red light. And I've turned traffic down to 10. It was on 15, so I'll just turn it down a little bit. Um, What else did I need to say? Um... Bugger it, what was it? No, can't remember. Right, here we go. So, um, let's clear that. Oh, it doesn't seem to let me clear it. Okay, so let's have a look through now. So, um, that's going back to the same place. Oh, it's because that was selected. Okay, so let's take a, uh, a different trailer. So, um, yeah, sod it. Let's do this one. So, four... Six nine eight. So we're going to be in this vehicle for just a little while, and then we'll upgrade to um, the next vehicle. And I think it's probably going to be a drop side, but I don't know yet. Um, we'll just see how I feel. Obviously, the goal will be to get to a lorry and actually own it. Okay, right here we go. So we're connected. Bit of a longer journey, this one as well. Yeah, so if I wasn't a content creator and I had this game, um, it would be... Oh, no. Sorry, mate. Sorry. Go on. Sorry, mate. If I wasn't a content creator, um, I'd use this game for kind of relaxation because I used to love going out on road trips when I was young and fuel was dirt cheap I used to absolutely love grabbing yeah one or two mates or whatever 
and um, yeah, going on road trips and just having no particular destination in mind and yeah, just going for it. So music on with your mates and just loving life, being in free and all that kind of thing. So when I first played this game, I got that feeling, even though I was playing it on my own, I got that feeling because I didn't have to record. So I had Delana on, my favorite DJ. She's the best DJ in the world. And I'm a subscriber, so if you want to find her channel, just have a look through my um, public subscribers. Yeah, false feedback isn't working now. Or oh, it's it's weird. It's like an elastic band kind of thing. Difficult to explain. Um, but yeah, that's a work in progress, and it does actually warn you about that when you enable it. Anyway, um, yeah, so I had that on, just driving along. It got to night time. And I thought, yep, this is excellent because most games at night, they're just too dark. But this one, it, it's just right. The balance is perfect. So with games like this, um, I think this is really, really good for the kind of industry because what it does is it brings a few more elements into uh, like simulation games. And... Um, then other developers are going to notice stuff that they haven't got in their own games and hopefully include them. So I'd love some of this stuff to be taken over to Euro Truck Simulator. Absolutely love it. And um, American Truck as well. Right, let's put Cruise Control on. And I've set it so I can tap it up a little bit. So we'll put it on 100, so about 60 miles an hour. Was it 62? I can't remember. Um, yeah, so competition in this field is good, definitely. It's like um, shooting games. So if only Call of Duty, if that was the only option, Call of Duty, it wouldn't be as good as it is today. But because there's things like Battlefield and all the rest of it, that competition's really healthy for us gamers because it means that there's competition and it means that they have to try and have something unique. And then when someone does come up with something unique, um, other developers realise that, yeah, they need to uh, either copy it or, um, yeah, just make something better. Right, so there, there had been a little accident there. Um, if you go back a few seconds, you'll see the two cars were kind of stuck in each other. And it sorts itself out by making one of them disappear. Oh, are you watching SCS? No, they're not. But this is what I mean. Like, little things like that really do help. I would still like to see improvements on this game. So, obviously, I'd like the force feedback to be able to go a lot stronger. Um, I'd like the ability of um, flashing high beams or turning them on and off more vehicles obviously um yeah locked camera facing facing out the back and yeah a few other bits but this game does get a lot right so i love it yeah it's nice i, I find it relaxing but that's the thing, it's it's difficult to explain. If if you're not really into driving, then obviously this wouldn't be relaxing. Oh, it's back there that we need to go. Okay. If you're not really into driving, this wouldn't be relaxing. But where I love driving, yeah, it's very enjoyable for me. But you can still have fun with it. Yeah, I didn't see the green marker up there. Do I just dump it anywhere then? Or do I need to actually go in that place, I wonder? Yeah, <laughs> I can't see the marker. Um I've got to leave this in in case it's gone wrong. Do I need to actually go in that place? Because there is um, an entrance there, look. 
No, surely not. I know this isn't right. And I wouldn't do this in my own van. I couldn't do this in my own van. Um, maybe we have to go round and go in the other end. So let's uh, not worry about the clutch too much. Or the underside. Yeah, I can't see a green marker out here, so it must be in in the middle of it. Probably where I'm talking, I just got distracted and uh, yeah, I went the wrong way. Yeah, look, you can drive around here. Okay. Beep, beep. Right, well, I'm glad that I'm in this little vehicle rather than others. Okay. Yeah, I'd like... Um, some more vehicles added um like maybe a peugeot expert and things like that um berlingo stalled it yeah i've driven lots of vans in my life there we go perfect okay so what's next let's have a look um right so there's something round here that we can go and pick up. Uh, okay, so that's a bit wonky how that works. So let's set the GPS. Oh no, it's not going to let me. So we'll have to just um, drive round to it. Okay, no worries. We can do that. Right, back out here. Um, change camera. I like the fact that it leaves some um, tracks as well. Oh yeah, and something else I should show. So the grip is different on mud. So that's full throttle on mud. And then when I've got better grip here, you can see that it launches easier because obviously it's got more traction. Just little things like that. that like. It just makes it more realistic, in my opinion. Um, I've just thought, so a YouTuber that probably has played this on console is um, a fantastic one, the British 8. So, um, yeah, I'm pretty sure he would have um, jumped on this. So please do have a look on his channel and see whether he's done anything. Um, I'll try to remember to have a look myself and if he has there'll be a link in the comments um, really nice lad as well right yeah graphically I think it looks great um, that's a bit of a glitch there isn't it that might be because of my field of view so I don't know whether that's the seat that I can see. And look, I'm driving sensibly. So on another game that I was playing recently, I'm just full throttle all the time because there's no, like, immersion. I can't find immersion in that game. You know the one I'm talking about. But I keep getting told off for slagging it off, but... If, if people really want me to um, just review every game as being perfect, then uh, yeah, I'll give up. I'll give up this channel. I'll like the fact that I can say what I like about games. Right. Okay. Here we go. Right, so what should we take this time? Um, let's pop something in the back. So what's this one? Uh, we'll take that. It's a little bit more of a journey. No, we'll take this one, actually. What time are we at? 19 minutes. Yeah, we'll take this one. So we've got 9,100 now. So let's load this up. So... Let's stall it 55,000 times while I use this. Oh, bugger it. Um, someone asked about the forklift as well, so how fast it can go. 
Right, so it's only got three gears and 30 kilometers an hour. And let's see whether I can roll it. No, it doesn't seem to roll. <laughs> okay, right, sorry about that. Back to it. Okay, get this loaded up. I do like how the forklift works. We'll also, um, oh, won't work with that, Johnny. So I've still got my um, joystick plugged in from where I was playing Farming Simulator 22. And my goodness, that's all the jank how I've got that set up. So genuinely, this is how Johnny runs. So a joystick desk mount is about 35 pounds. However, Johnny hasn't got that kind of money to uh, throw into a bit of metal. So Johnny made one out of an old chainsaw bar. So yeah, <laughs> that's, that's the kind of stuff I come up with. Yeah, so it's a chainsaw bar that I wouldn't have ever got back to, uh, yeah, decent working condition because it's all, like, it's got loads of burrs in it and all that. So, uh, I don't know why I still had it, but I still had it in a tube. I suppose it was just because I didn't want to, like, dump it somewhere. And, uh, yeah, so I duct taped it so it's got no sharp edges. And then I put some tape around it, some horse tape which is like adhesive to itself so it doesn't look so tragic and um, yeah bolted my Logitech joystick to it and then it's wedged underneath my computer and it works perfect yes random I know but you just have to make do don't you and it certainly works and it's a lot easier than one of them joystick mounts because I don't have to unbolt it and everything. Right, a truck just disappeared in front of us, didn't it? I wasn't really paying that much attention, but something happened. So I would always point out the glitches that I notice. If you ever notice any glitches and I seem to just brush over it, it's because I haven't noticed. So please do feel free to um, point it out. But yeah, reviews are always genuine and honest on this channel. No sponsorship and... Yeah, I have been approached by people that want to uh, sponsor content, but I'm just not interested because I've got to love the product. So, Encona Hot Pepper Sauce, if you're listening, yep, I'll take you on. But I need a lifetime supply, and I have a lot of it. I have, have a lorry ready. Okay. I'd like one of them in as well, Transit Connect. Um, up here. Hold on, Jody. The GPS is much easier to read than other games as well. I like it. I do kind of wish that it zoomed out as you were going faster. Um, I might put that across the developers because I'm not a developer, but that feels like it would be something fairly easy to um, incorporate. I don't know, though. I have no idea. So, we need to go around. I'm not going up the kerb. Yeah, so the other day, um, because of my Breaking Bad Farming Simulator 22 series, I really wanted something very particular. And I knew that there wasn't going to be a mod on the mod hub for it. Um, so I thought, sod it. How hard can it be? I'll make the mod. I'll just make it from scratch. Because it doesn't... It's just a placeable... And, uh, yeah, I looked into it and I got about five minutes into a video on how to make a mod. It's beyond me. <laughs> right, let's, um, let's drive around here. So I have always got the option, by the way, of, um, oh, when I do a delivery, I could just pick something up from there. So let's, um, let's quickly do that. I am trying to avoid the curbs. I'll probably bump up and down a few of them without noticing. So, yeah. The first one always comes up on the GPS as soon as you load in. So what should we do this time? Uh, should we do a trailer? 
So we've got 11 now. Let's do a trailer just around the corner. So two, three, five, six. Yep, we'll have that. Okay, lights on. Uh, jump in. So this is fragile, this one. Yes, I have driven forklifts in the past, but um, I'm not licensed. It was just to uh, yeah, help out companies I've worked for before. And yeah, I find it quite scary. And I had to load my own... Um, what's it doing? Oh, of course, I've got more. I had to load my own lorry up once, and my goodness, that was scary. Really scary. I didn't mind moving pallets around on a forklift, like in a warehouse. But loading up a lorry, my goodness. Especially your own. And yeah, one day I had to use a um oh what are they called oh, I really should know this straight away um one of the long reach forklift things that you see on farms I had to use one of them and uh yeah that was on a site and neither of the fellas that I was delivering to so basically it was an event site neither of the fellas that I was uh, delivering to have had ever driven a forklift and uh yes yeah, so i got to site and no one was there to unload me and uh one of the fellas said oh you can borrow a forklift from the main gate so obviously when you're going to an event yeah you can't like take forklifts so i went up there expecting something like we've just driven and it was one of them flipping massive things and i've never driven one before and uh, the bloke said, have you driven one of these before? And I said, oh, yeah, a few few years back. And I'd never driven one, but I just thought, you know, if I don't do this, no one will. <laughs> so I'd have to go back with the load or something. So I just, um, I jollied it, didn't I? And somehow it worked out perfect. If any of you have ever watched Only Fools and Horses, um, the one where they go to Calais and they... So basically, they was doing a booze run, and um, so an alcohol run, and uh, yeah, they bump into Denzel, and yeah, so it's all pre-set. So Rodney's completely unaware that they're going there for that. He just thinks they're going for a nice day out. Anyway, they bump into Denzel, and then um, yeah, they realise that they're running late and they're looking for a forklift driver no one's around and uh, Del just jumps in and does it himself so he does it perfectly and that's exactly what happened on that site when I had to yeah, unload my lorry exactly what happened I didn't know what any of the controls were it had a steering wheel, a joystick loads of all the buttons Right, you are going a bit quick, Johnny, especially with a trainer. Um, okay, that was terrible driving, I know. Yeah, long reach, is it? Full fifth, I don't know. But yeah, it was scary. But I got it done. And also, one of the fellas said, that was really quick. And I thought, yeah, if only you knew. <laughs> okay. Oh, we've got wildlife. Okay. So I've never been here before in the game, genuinely. So I'm liking this. I know I'm just flooding you with things that I'd like in the game, but being able to deliver inside buildings would be nice as well. Like, inside little warehouses and stuff. So, yeah, I know that the graphics aren't perfect, so that corn there 
um, isn't textured very well, but yeah. It's not enough to ruin the game for me, genuinely. Right. Okay, and into this camera so I can see what I'm doing. Yeah, once the um, the camera lock for looking out the window is in, that's how the series will progress, just like my um, ETS series. But yeah, I know three of you have um, bought this on PC so far, and I hope you're really, really enjoying it, genuinely. This fan is a lot of fun. You can really, like, chuck it around. Um, so obviously it shouldn't be making that noise on this surface. So it would be nice to hear kind of stones flicking up. All that kind of thing. Oh, what are you doing? So what we're going to do is we're just going to drive forward very gently bump it and see whether we go through it we'll just come to a stop okay it's a strong old thing isn't it I like animals by the way it was just a test just to see what happened right so that's a little grocery store there and um, let's go that way Prius. What time are we at? 32 minutes. Yeah, so let's do another job. I'm enjoying it. And what's the time in real life? Yeah, I've got enough time. Right, so this time um, we'll go in there. Yeah, so this place, I remember there's a ramp at the end. Let me quickly show you it. So there's a ramp at the end just up here and every so often a ship goes past and I do think you can land on it because um, when I was playing around with this off camera I um, I saw the ship coming so I quickly went for it around the block and um, can't remember what vehicle I was in and yeah made the leap but um yeah, unfortunately I hit the side, but it's a physical object. So, um, yeah, I didn't go through the ship. I hit it and then fell down. So I think there might possibly be an achievement for, um, yeah, landing on top of it. But just a guess, I don't know. Not a fact. I'm just assuming. Right, so let's take this one. That'll give us another 3,000, three and a half. Okay, and where is it? That side? Yeah. Right, so also it's a generator. I used to deliver these. And much bigger than this one as well. Oh, it's a, okay, I used to deliver these as well. So these are lights. I did actually used to have to deliver these to um, the police, believe it or not. So sometimes I'd be escorted by the police. Unfortunately, it wasn't for nice things. It was for um, road traffic accidents. So if they needed floodlights, um, the company that I worked for, which was horrible, the company that I worked for had a contract with them so they could call any time. And obviously it was always at night or in the middle of the night. And then, yeah, you'd have to go right up to the accident and drop them off in strategic bases to illuminate the whole site. It was horrible though, really, really grim. And I'll tell you what, like, I always used to wear a seatbelt, always. Well, obviously I still do, but um, yeah, like some of my friends, they thought it was cool not to, and they used to say it was uncomfortable and all that kind of thing. When you've seen the after effects of people not wearing a seatbelt, my goodness. Like, please buckle up, everyone. It takes a second. 
and also like that bit there on the dash on the passenger side don't put your feet on that because if the airbag goes off and your feet are on there trust me it's horrific anyway right so why is that coming up with reset camera I don't know it's gone away now right we're almost out of fuel so I do need to uh We'll come off here. If you run out of fuel, your engine just dies. And then you get the option to be recovered to a petrol station. Um, yeah, so it's not the end of the world, but you do obviously have to pay a bit to be recovered. Ugh, what are you doing? Right, so, um, stop engine, and yeah, refuel and detach trailer, they're, they're wrong, aren't they? So, I think it's just detached it, I'm not sure though. Okay, it looks like we're alright. Yeah, it stayed on, nice. Yeah, I'm not trying to be a dad or anything though, but if... If you get into a car and no one's wearing a seatbelt, they're the fools. Just put your seatbelt on and if they uh, take the piss out of you, yeah, then they're just idiots. Here we go. And also another thing that I'd like added, I keep on, don't I? Another thing that I'd like added is um, the ability to see how long you've got left of the journey. So if it gave you a rough estimate. And yeah, um, so Sammy, um, a subscriber, said that it'd be nice to have kind of survival elements. So survival elements as in um, tired, like yeah, tiredness, hunger, and that kind of thing. And um, I think it's an excellent idea. So being able to stop at like restaurants and cafes to eat and replenish, and uh, yeah, maybe motels, maybe even in the future, being able to buy a little property, like a little house. Because um, obviously, we'd need somewhere to store all these vehicles. Because obviously, in the future, I want to own one of everything. What are you doing, mate? There we go. And I've got the hazards working as well. Can't remember whether I said. I think I'd mapped it somehow to the wrong button, so that's why it wasn't working when I did the first pay test. Because I don't think there's been an update on this. Boat down there. God, I wouldn't want to be taking a boat through there. So, on boats, obviously a lot of them are water-cooled. But um, it's not a closed system. It's an open system, so it uses the water that you're actually bobbing around in. And, uh, yeah, and then you have this little filter. And I can't remember what it's called, but it's basically a filter that gets rid of all the gunk and when it gets clogged up um, it can stop the flow of water and then your boat very very quickly overheats so that's why a lot of the time when you see people driving boats they'll keep looking out and checking that water is coming out with the exhaust so that they know that they've still got water running through Right, fun fact of the day. There you go. But yeah, the reason why I said that is because that lake, or whatever that was, um, I'll be checking the filter like a madman. 
Right, 40 minutes. Um, let's have a look uh, what we can afford. So we've got 17 grand now. So let's have a quick look on change vehicle. Um, so obviously it's not worth getting a car at the moment. Look, we could get that, but obviously that's too similar to what we've got really, isn't it? So um, how about a drop? Okay, uh, well, I mean, this is probably the best bet, isn't it? I would have liked the tran uh, transit, though. Almost called it the other thing then, but you can't call it that anymore. Um, yeah, so I think I'm going to do one more job and then try and get the transit drop side for the next one. Um, if I go to the garage quickly. Yeah, so this is rear wheel drive, as is this, but this is a Julie. Um, load capacity, 1,450. Okay, so it's definitely worth spending a little bit more for the transit van. So that's what we're going to do in the next one. So we'll do one more job in the uh, little bipper that I've got. And then after that, we're not going to sell it, though, we'll keep it. And then after that, we should be able to afford this. And yeah, we'll, um, we'll be able to take more load around and hopefully get paid more. Um, oh, no. Um, yeah, so I'm going to leave it there. So thanks for watching, everyone. I do really appreciate each and every view. And if you've liked this, please feel free to join me in the next one. And also one more thing. So... Obviously, we're coming up to Christmas and my channel's so close to 5,000. So if you're enjoying the content, please do consider subscribing because it really does help, especially with the algorithm. Anyway, right, I'll shut up now. <laughs> so thanks for watching, everyone, and fingers crossed I'll see you soon. Bye for now.